What does it mean to be empathetic? Being an empath or being empathetic is when you thrive off others' emotions and have the ability to feel and care for what the other person is feeling. Having this kind of personality can actually put a lot of strain on your mental health and abilities. Even though it is great to be an empathetic person, it can be exhausting. If you're a tired empath, here are five tips you should know. Number one, it's okay to have a little me time to be by yourself every once in a while. If you're constantly surrounded by people and feeling their emotions, it can take a lot of energy out of you. When you're overwhelmed like this, you're not able to help people to your full ability. It's good to recharge and get those negative thoughts out of your head that are coming from others. Read a book, dance, sing, binge watch a series. Just remember to take a break from people every now and then. Number two, be slippery. This means to let the emotions others put on you to slide right off. If someone's emotions are overpowering, make sure you acknowledge that and let it slide out of your brain. Make sure your emotions don't bottle up inside either. This is when the me time comes into good use, so you can get in tune with what you're feeling yourself. Number three, make sure you center yourself. Grounding yourself will help you clear your head and heart. Whether you do a little meditation, yoga, or even some deep breaths can really help you recenter throughout the day. Number four, differentiate. Sometimes the emotions you are feeling are not your own. When you are an empath, you tend to take on others' emotions and see them as your own. Once you recognize that these emotions are not your own, you can let them run free and move on. Number five, avoid energy suckers. This means to try and avoid people that bring a lot of drama into their life, and by extension, yours. These people will try to bring you down and suck you into whatever problems or drama they have going on. Even though you can't help but be empathetic towards them, try to minimize your time spent around them. Those are the five tips you should follow, all you wonderful empathetic people out there. And remember, while you might always be the one to be empathetic to others, make sure you have people in your life that will be empathetic towards you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching!